I'm Kristen. And I'm Doug. And you're watching Travels and Travails. Today, we're at Wright's Beach. Today, we are going to show you around Wright's Beach Campground, visit the town of Bodega Bay, and then stop by a lovely little place in the small town of Jenner. Stick around to the end to see a bird's eye view of the campground. When I was a kid, my dad took my sister and I on a camping trip to Mexico. I remember seeing a mountain of abalone shells like 10 feet high. This is one of my precious memories that I have of my dad. My dad died in the year 2000, 11 days before I graduated with my bachelor's degree. With those memories in tow, I'm excited to camp for my birthday at Wright's Beach Campground. Wright's Beach Campground is one of the few campgrounds in Northern California that is actually on the beach. Wright's Beach Campground is a 27-site campground located just north of Bodega Bay, approximately two hours north of San Francisco, and is one of several campgrounds in the area. Campsites can be reserved up to six months in advance. The maximum trailer length is 27 feet and hookups are not available. Each site has a picnic table, fire ring, and a paved parking spur. The maximum occupancy is eight people and two vehicles per campsite. Running water and flush toilets are available in the bathrooms, but there are no showers. Token operated hot showers, a potable water fill station, and a dump station are available at Bodega Dunes Campground for campers registered at Wright's Beach. When the campground is full, an overflow area in Wrights Beach Picnic Area is available for self-contained vehicles on a first-come, first-served basis. This area is along the roadway adjacent to the entry kiosk. We stayed in Site 21, a small but secluded spot that fit our little casita perfectly. If the sound of the waves don't lull you to sleep at this site, the sound of the creek surely will. Sites 1 through 10 are directly on the beach, but these sites are not as secluded and are subject to beach wind. Each site costs $35 per night. There are a few pull-through sites, but most of the sites are back-in sites. Generators are allowed between the hours of 10 a.m. and 8 p.m. Firewood is available for purchase from the camp host. Bodega Bay is a sleepy little beach town in Sonoma County on the Pacific Coast Highway. One of our favorite places to shop is Second Wind. Second Wind features kites, yard flags, and saltwater taffy. We love eating at the Fishitarian Fish Market. Not only do they have a great selection of fresh fish, but they also have an appetizing selection of prepared foods. Doug had the crab sandwich. The french fries are amazing. They have many drinks to choose from. My favorite is the dead guy ale. I'm excited because I got a dead guy. If you love to camp, hike, backpack, or kayak, hit the subscribe button to see more videos like these. To celebrate my birthday, we visited Tasting by the Sea, a quaint wine bar in Jenner that has a fantastic view of the estuary. This little wine bar is a great place to kick back, relax, and have a glass of wine outside while listening to music. Both the beach and Quartum Trail can be accessed from the campground, so there's plenty to do. If you hike up the trail, you get an aerial view of the entire campground and the beach. Cordum Trail goes as far as Goat Rock and follows the coastline. The Sonoma coast is reminiscent of the jagged shores of Ireland, so it's a worthwhile hike down the Quartum Trail as far as you'd like to go. 